Yo, what's up, lads? Welcome back to a brand new video today. What I have for you is Elite One Squad battles as well as two mid icon packs. So we've got some, we've got a lot of content for today. So of course we are on FIFA Broken or Charlie's account, and we've got Elite One Squad battles rewards, which grants us, of course, Okun, Okung Boa, two rare mega packs, and thirty thousand coins. Now Charlie is working towards Team of the Season Sterling. He said so. Uh, it's currently on four hundred twenty-five thousand coins. How much does Team of the Season Sterling actually sell for? That is the question. Uh, Sterling sells for, da -da -da -da, he sells for roughly 860,000 coins. So it's a big ask, actually. It's going to be, it's going to be quite a push to try and get him, um, to try and get him to Team of the Season Sterling. Um, but we've got a bunch of packs to open. Now, before we get into these packs, I want to show you guys the mid-icon packs. But before we get into that... Here is a quick promo for Amino. I just want to interrupt this video really quick to show you guys Amino stories. The platform itself is made for sophisticated and well thought out stories. You can also follow specific topics. For example, I want to follow video games and keep up to date with different stories and communities via video games. It's super easy. Uh, you want to look through and find something. I want to find a video on... Oh, look, there's me. I'm currently learning about three hidden secrets in Bunker Jonesy's painting. I don't even know what that is. But there is something for everybody on this app. And that's one thing I actually really like about it. Now, like I just said, I am actually on Amino. If you search up It's Haber on users, you can actually find me. I am a verified user and I've created two stories so far. And we'll be creating more stories. I have just posted a gaming setup slash room tour that I'm not going to let you guys see until you go and watch it on Amino. Make sure you follow me and you turn on notifications on my Amino profile to stay up to date with every story that I post. To show you guys how to do that, I'm going to be doing that on my friend Tom's profile. I'm going to be following Tom and turning on Nerdfire's notifications. Now, every time he posts a story, which you should be doing very soon, Tom, I'll get a notification because it's going straight through to my phone. Another great thing about Amino is that you can search for specific topics within Amino. For example, if you want to see only topics regarding Fortnite, you can click on Fortnite and find a bunch of different hashtag topics for Fortnite. So for example, I want to keep up to date with the World Cup. I can see stories from the World Cup and communities based on different things going on in the World Cup. So Fortnite news and leaks, I can click on that. And I can join the Amino to see a bunch of different uh, people, a bunch of different uh, posts, a bunch of different public chat rooms, shared folders, featured stuff. I can see a lot of different posts and it's all regarding Fortnite news and leaks. Or maybe you just want to watch a bunch of different stories regarding Fortnite. It's also easy. You can literally just click on these and watch a bunch of different Fortnite stories by searching up Fortnite on the featured topics. Make sure to get Amino on iOS and Android. Link in the description and follow me on Amino to check out my stories on there. Let's get back into the video. I'm so grateful to you guys for putting me in a position where I can take sponsored opportunities like this in the in the summertime when FIFA, you know, isn't as popular as it is during the year. So very very much thank you to you guys. Very much thanks. Many thanks to you guys. Um, so now here are the two mid-icon packs that we opened, and then we're going to get into the packs. Okay, so it's very, uh, very laggy right now because the internet connection is not amazing. However, we've got the first mid-icon pack. Hopefully, we can get something good. I haven't opened one of these in a little while, so this is going to be pretty exciting. I'm hoping we get him something pretty decent. It would be pretty nice to get something decent. Come on, EA. What are we going to get? It's going to be Dutch centre-back. Oh, I think that's Rijkaard. Yeah, Rijkaard. You see Dutch, you want to see centre-mid. You want Rude Hullet, EA. You want 9 to 8 Rude Hullet. But Rijkaard, I mean, the card itself isn't the worst-looking card in the world. It's not great. It's not the worst-looking card in the world. Um, shame it's not one of the great ones, unfortunately. But massive thank you for letting me open your pack. We're opening Sam's pack now. Of course, yeah, another mid icon pack on share play. Hopefully, we can get something better than Rikard from the last one. The, the screen's actually bugging out. For some reason, it's showing the little circle at the bottom, if you guys can see that. I have no idea why that's showing it. Probably from a foot game, and it's just been bugged out ever since. However, it's going to be French. I don't know what that is. Who is that? Oh, man, I thought it was Vieira. When I saw CVM, because I know, I think it's, I think this is Dutch. I saw CVM, I'm like, is that, is that CDM? And I was thinking in my head, Vieira. I mean, Makaleli, this part of the game, mm, I mean, he's, he's definitely usable. Good is definitely a different question. I mean, he's got some all right stats, but five foot seven, I think he is, or five foot eight with 79 jumping just isn't that good this part in the game, but... Could have been worse, definitely. And at least that's usable for, uh, for an SBC. Massive thank you, Sam, for uh, for letting me open up your mid-icon pack, bro. Appreciate it, man. Sad we didn't get any of the big ones, but we have a bunch of pretty decent packs to open here, ranging from 
uh, gold packs to, I think, rare mega packs to, I think, I'm not entirely sure there might be 100k packs in it. There might not be. I'm not entirely sure what packs we have. Uh, Charlie said that he was literally just uh, doing a bunch of SBCs like marquee matchups and league SBCs and stuff like that. So we have gold players packs here that could provide something decent, but also could be absolutely terrible. Uh, if it's a board, it's a win. And unfortunately, it's not a board. But I think rare gold, sorry, non-rare golds are going at that point where they're going for like a decent amount of coins now as well, like the ones from the main leagues especially. So uh, so every pack is pretty decent, I think. So we've got rare mix players packs. We're going to go with these first and see if we can get anything good in these. First one, sadly, is not going to be a walkout. Um, but it's been a while since I've opened like a bunch of packs at once. Like I just haven't been opening packs recently. So we do have Elite 3 rewards for this week as well. I, I got Elite 3 on my own account uh, after playing Weekend League. R9 Ronaldo. The man is a god. The man is an absolute god. I just, I can't believe I didn't do him sooner, basically. The guy is absolutely incredible. So uh, so we'll have Elite 3 rewards to open for myself um, this coming Thursday, which I'm excited for. Hopefully we can get something good. Um, but apart from that, I just haven't been opening packs, really. So it's nice to just open a bunch of different packs and see if we can get anything decent. Because uh, it's nice preparation, you know. Obviously, FIFA 20 is a couple months away. And I think a lot of people forget... That although people might like, like I got a comment the other day, like why would you only open rare, me rare mega packs as the best pack? It's like in a couple months, the best pack to open is going to be a seven and a half K pack. So you might as well prepare yourself, prepare your brain for it by opening some of the, the lower packs in the game. So, um, so yeah, we're opening these now uh, and we're getting absolutely nothing at the minute. We're getting absolutely nothing sadly, um, but it'd be nice to get a walkout pretty soon. What we've got here, absolutely nothing there. He might be selling for a little bit, so we'll send him up to the transfer list. The left wing back from the German league might be decent. We've got two premium. Well, we've got a premium and a prime electrum players pack now. And then we've got rare electrums. Again, no walkout. It's not looking great at the minute. The, the, the pack look isn't looking amazing so far. It'd be nice to get something soon. It'd be nice if the, the pack look sort of picked up a little bit. Because we're not getting anything so far. What we got? We've got a prime electrum players pack now. Can we at least get a walkout in one of the rare electrums is what I'm asking for, right? We're asking a pack in advance to get a walkout. Um, we're not even getting boards. That's the annoying thing. And just... Pack looks not looking amazing, really. Not looking not looking fantastic, I guess. Um, we'll go ahead and discard you. Probably should have checked if he went for something, actually. Um, what we got? So we've got two rare electrums, two rare mega packs, a prime gold players pack, and then a jumbo premium gold players pack. Wait, a jumbo premium gold pack? That's just a 15k pack. I should have opened that before. We'll open this now and see if we can get anything good in that. Absolutely nothing in terms of walkouts. We've got a board. Ugh. I mean, this part of the FIFA, does it even matter? Ooh, Zlatan. Actually, that's not bad. That might be going for a little bit. 85? Depends if there is any requirements for him. Is he actually going for anything in a minute? Oh, damn. He's like 15,000 coins. Not too bad. Like I said, Charlie's saving up for Sterling. So all and any coinage helps. Uh, two rare election players packs now. Are we going to get anything in this? No walkout in the first one, sadly. These packs are usually pretty good, though. Obviously, they've got the silver contents in there. But uh, from rival awards this year, they've been very nice to me. I've had a lot of walkouts in these and a lot of decent silver players in these. So... You never know. There could always be something decent around the corner in terms of a silver. Uh, although I don't know off the top of my head which silver sell for anything. I'm just going to store them in the club and, uh, and and not think about it. Because I genuinely don't know any silvers that sell for anything right now. But second rare election plays back here. Again, no walkout. Please don't tell me you go the whole video without a walkout. We've got man of the match. It is a man of the match. What's it going to be? It's going to be Polish CDM Krakowiak. I actually don't know who that is. Um, Roman Zuk. Roman Zuk. Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay. Amazing. Just what we wanted, EA. Thank you very much. Uh, I mean, 84 and 83. I think Callahan's quite a lot right now as well. He's like 7,000 coins, so not too bad. Colacini. Didn't realize he's still playing football. I'll just send those to the transfer list just see, just in case. I, I think I discarded someone that sells for a little bit earlier, so they're going up there just in case. We've got a prime gold players pack now, and then we've got the elite one squad battles rewards themselves. So, prime gold players pack. Again, no walkout. This is rough. Considering there's so many walkouts, so many decent rated special cards in packs, this is actually really rough. Uh, it's going to be Adoris, 83 rated, who again, usually when like League SBC method comes out, and there's a few SBCs out here and there, he usually gets inflated quite a bit. So you might be going for like 4 or 5k right now. Um, yeah, maybe like 4,000 coins, not too bad. Sigurini will send you to the transfer list. We've got the two rare mega packs now for Elite One Squad Battles. EA, I want to see at least one walkout in one of these packs. If not, I'll be very disappointed. Hey, we got a walkout in the one that in the first one actually. It's gonna be a man of the match item. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be Argentinian striker. Korea, I think. Yeah, Korea. Not too bad. Not amazing. I mean, 84 raid man of the match. He probably doesn't sell for anything to be honest, but not too bad. Maybe a couple of special cards in one pack. 
Hey, oh wow, actually that's not bad at all. That's a really nice pack. Wow. We will take that. Okay, so he didn't really sell for anything. McGinn, are you selling for anything in the minute, dude? Uh, probably like 20,000 coins. That's not too bad, though. They're the kind of packs we wanted, yeah. Just the ones to, to, to fill up the, the, the transfer list, sorry, with some decent players um, and sell them on for a little bit of coins. So that's actually not too bad. Not No amazing consumables there, but not a bad pack right there. Can we get another walk out, yeah? That is a question. Can we get another? Can we get back to back? <sighs> no, we can't. At least a special card? Nope. Just going to be a normal board. 85, maybe? Anthony Martial's not bad, 84. Um, don't actually know how much Martial sells for, actually. But, I mean, an 84-rated player is not too bad. It's not not the worst, not the best, I guess. Um, eh, not bad, actually. Cam Sonny mid car there as well, not too shabby. I mean, it's all right. It's maybe like a 15,000 coin pack right there. But that is it for all the packs. Massive thank you as well, again to Charlie for letting us open his packs. I am very grateful. And, uh, and to the other two people that let me open their mid icon packs, not too bad. And again, massive thank you to you guys for allowing me to be able to take sponsored opportunities like that. So it just, I'm very grateful to you guys. I'm very humbled by you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you later.